let me go through the connection page i have already keyed in the information i'm planning to integrate to an application called success factors which is exposing odata apis so i provided a root url here and we also have a combo box to select v2 or v4 going forward you will see v4 version over here and you can select according to your requirement where you want it to integrate you have a different security policy you can select one of the security policy and go ahead and integrate it i have selected basic integration policy basic security policy i'm testing it now test connection is successful so let's now get into the integration and then see how our wizard page just looks like so this is one of the integration in this this uh, integration i'm planning to achieve a use case to uh, fetch the employee job information from the success factor so in order to do that i've used a rest trigger to trigger this integration and which will invoke uh, our odata adapter to fetch the information i mean the employee job information from the success factor and need to get the response back and show it to us according to the schema that we have selected so let's deep dive what is there in the odata uh, adapter wizard this is a basic info page and we have operation space it will show up different operations that we are supporting at this point of time and i'm selecting query here and uh, according to the operation page that you select uh, the screen 3 will get uh, uh, dynamically uh, changed so if you remember we have already provided the root url in the connection page according to the root url it uh, shows up entities that are available in the odata apis you know and i have selected the employee job so let's go to the screen 3 and it has the query parameters different query parameters i'm selecting Uh, one of the navigation uh, uh, parameter so if you can if you want you can select multiple navigation parameters and according to that you can also select uh, different uh, fields that you wanted to have a response back from the odata api and you also have uh, different uh, parameters uh, like top skip inline count order band the filter so then as the name says uh, when you you want to uh, select 10 records top 10 records you can just key in 10 records it will pull uh, top 10 records and then fetch it for you and uh, skip you you want to skip few records you can just mention number of records that you want to skip so similarly the other Uh, parameters and the other important one is the filter which is something like a where condition in our sql so you want to select a specific record on a value so for example as a label mentioned the tooltip mentioned here country region code equal to yes so it will pull all the records which are belongs to country region code equal to yes uh, you know uh, so you can you can perform this uh, filter uh, condition here and then extract the information that you wanted to you can also key in your uh, custom a request headers as well as um, response uh, custom response headers and uh, go on so this is the summary page it will show up what you have already selected in our um, wizard page so let me go back and run the integration for now i have deactivated the integration let me activate this integration so i think the integration is uh, being activated now it is active so let us run the integration so keep in mind i am not selecting any filter uh, i have not keyed in any filter value so what it does it will pull all the information which is available i mean the, all the uh, employee job information which is available in the success factors so it, it is so quick and it has switched all the uh, employee information that we have and the success factors so as i mentioned if you in case if you select a filter for example sequence number equal to sequence number equal to 1 so it will pull all the sequence numbers where equal to it is equal to 1 you know you have multiple uh, sequence number 1 so it will pull these all uh, multiple records uh, for example it, if it qualifies only one record it will pull only one record from here that's it uh, for our demo thanks